Howdy folks, I'm Lovely Lax, lovingly lulling little larks. I'm Amber. And here are more larks, little tiny larks, for us to lull into a false sense of security, where we slowly corrupt them into new larks. Evil larks. No, this was supposed to just be a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to be part of our Lark Army. And folks, we have a live stream coming up tomorrow. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We hope to see you then. For more details, see the end of the video. Let's get started. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a Jerk for Refusing to Change the Name of My Book Character After My Sister Stole Her Name? Hello everyone, I am posting this because I genuinely can't tell if I'm in the wrong about this or not. I have been working on this book for almost five years now, and one of my main characters has a pretty uncommon name that I really like for her. She was the first character I made for this book. In 2021, I lived with my sister for a few months and she loved hearing me talk about my book and hearing about my characters. Back then, she had three daughters. Flash forward to this year and my sister is pregnant with my first nephew. I have been so excited for his arrival. She kept his name a secret up until he was born just a few days ago, and she named him the same name as my book character. I thought all was well until she came to me and asked me to change the name of my character since she doesn't want him to be associated with the book for his whole life. I just thought that she was joking at first when she asked me to do this, so I said no, and she got really mad at me, saying that I was going to ruin the name for my entire family when I published the book. I didn't know how to respond, so I just haven't texted her back. Am I the jerk for refusing to change the name of my character for my nephew? And edit, the name is Ashlan, if you wanted to know. Update, I've talked to my sister, and she is insisting on keeping my nephew's name, but is begrudgingly giving up on trying to get me to change the name. Honestly though, after all these comments comparing the name to Aslan, and talking about how it's hard to pronounce, I might just shorten it to Ash. In the book for simplicity. She might feel like she had won, but I'm definitely going to take your guys' advice and write a passive-aggressive dedication to her. And for those wanting to read my book, it's going to be at least a year before it's published, but if you're still interested, I'll post about it here when it comes out. Thank you for all the kind words and support. I really appreciate it. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. I mean, the character had the name first. And there's nothing wrong with someone sharing the name as a book character, but if you literally name your kid after a book character's name and then, like, Oh, well, I can't have my kid associated with this book character. Like, you kind of did it to yourself. Well, what happens if OP had actually published it ahead of time and she had named it? Would she expect, like, a retroactive, like, <laughs> renaming? Like, yeah, you kind of have to rename your character now. But it feels like she did this as almost like a power move because, like, now OP, has, since they haven't published, they have the opportunity to change the name. And changing a character's name can be difficult Right, because yeah. sometimes you might end up like writing it. You like have this vision in your head about what this character's name is, and suddenly now you've changed it, and it can create confusion for the book and whatnot. Right? Yeah, I mean, I've had to change my minor, minor characters' names before, and it is like, you know, it can get confusing. Um, and but it's, it sounds like this is a major character in the book, and you become so attached to that character, who they are as a person, mm -hmm. you know it's really hard to like because you know the name a lot of times has significance to the author too there's a reason why they chose that name for that character yeah um and so changing that name it kind of feels like you know, you're taking something away from them and one thing after you know writing books with big casts is that you're going to unless you make up your own names like totally made up fantasy names you're going to happen to coincidentally name characters names you've heard before mm -hmm. Um, in fact, one of the characters in my book actually has the same name as someone I met later on down the line. And I didn't want to go and change his name because he'd been this character for years and years and years before I met this person. Yeah. So, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where coincidences happen. Probably no one outside of the family would have even made the connection, you know, unless this book was like a runaway success. And then they would assume, oh, you know, but then like everyone would be naming their kid Ashlon anyway. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think that OP is in the wrong, but I think, like, if they feel like Ash is a better name, 
then that's certainly a good approach, right? Mm -hmm. They could even have the character's full name, you know, Ashlon, and then just have them have a nickname of Ash, and most people just call them Ash, right? Mm -hmm. That way, they can actually have the name as they want it, but then also still have, like, this abbreviated name that isn't really associated with the character. Yeah. Because a lot of people won't use their full names anyways, mm -hmm. and they'll mostly be known by, like, a... a like a shorter version of their name oh yeah like i have a character in my book his full legal name like his first name is andrew but like it's almost never used everyone just calls him andy in his own pieces he thinks of himself as andy so mm -hmm. you know it's very common yeah but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck all right folks and our next letter is titled am i a jerk for not putting my mother-in-law's maiden name in my child's name my fiancé is a 24-year-old male, and I am a 24-year-old female, and we are expecting our first child in December of this year. We don't know the gender yet, so we are picking the names for both a boy and a girl. We have fallen in love with the names already. My fiancé has his father's last name, and that name is on his birth certificate while his mother has a completely different last name. She has been hellbent on getting us to make up the last name of our child to her maiden name, which neither of us have. So in my head, it just doesn't make sense. She has been very manipulative in the past with various things to the point where we have just given in to her just to have her leave us alone about things. This time around, she proceeded to guilt trip us on why we won't give the child her last name. She proceeded to throw the I raised you, he didn't card, and even said that she was going to go to court to change my fiance's last name, which I found hilarious seeing as he's a grown adult. Now, mind you, mother-in-law has four sons, two of which have her maiden name as their last name, and all four of her children are straight and have potential to bear children of their own in the future. I am trying to convince my fiancé not to give in to even hyphenating her last name and just keeping it as a current last name to help set early boundaries on raising the child. But mother-in-law has it so deep in his mind that he has to please her and that she is entitled to make these decisions because she raised him. Not to mention she had demanded to be at my gender ultrasound instead of waiting for the reveal that we had planned for at our baby shower. So I'm just curious if I'm the jerk because I want our child to have his or her father's last name and not their grandmother's. Update, so my fiance and I have talked and we have agreed to give the baby his last name as I will be marrying him and taking the last name anyways. Boundaries will be heavily set with mother-in-law and appointments will be kept private between the two of us. I thank all of you who have validated my feelings and who have given advice as this has helped make us realize and make him realize that this is a creepy power control thing on her end. We only want the best for the baby and we need to lay the law now or it will never happen. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. I mean, this is just a completely overreach of power. And it's just really, really strange that she's so insistent on it. And I mm -hmm. think OP's absolutely right that if she gives in now, like they already had things they've given in before just for the sake of it, everything. She's going to want to make all the decisions for this kid. He has to, ha or they have to have this or do things that way and all sorts of things. So I think that if she really wanted her child to have her last name then she should have taken that action when she when the child was young right because it's a lot harder to change your name when you are an adult than it is to change it when you're a child and don't have any paper records and whatnot well and you also cannot ch legally change another adult's name without their consent oh yeah yeah and i think that her whole idea that she's going to go to court here and change his name is just absolutely ludicrous, right? Well, the thing is, it sounds like she and her husband had an equitable split where they each half of the kids have their last name. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she can't expect all her grandchildren to then have the same last name. I mean, she couldn't expect that even if they had all her last name because people change names. But it's really, again, a, you know, a gross overreach of power. And she's being very manipulative here. And I think it's important to set some serious boundaries and maybe go low or no contact until she can start behaving better. Exactly. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for telling my fiance that I don't want his last name or his mom at our wedding? 
Last December, my fiancé, a 25-year-old male, and I, a 23-year-old female, became engaged. The engagement itself was very unexpected and felt very sudden as we only have been dating for two years. However, I accepted as I love him and I couldn't imagine a future without him. Since our engagement, we've had several wedding related conversations and I've expressed to him numerous times that I would like to keep my maiden name and not adopt his. The reason for this is that my parents never had any sons and I'm an only child and I want to carry the name of my family for my parents and I want my children to have the choice of which last name that they want to have and go by or both. I have expressed all of this to my fiancé and he complied and assured me that he was okay with my decision on the matter. As the wedding draws closer, I received a call from the cake planner last night regarding our cake, which we had met with him and designed a few weeks prior. He informed us that he had a sample prepared for us to come and see, so we drove there the next morning to sample it. Needless to say, I was a bit shocked when he pulled out the cake, which had the words Mr. and Mrs. Smith my husband's last name printed on top, thinking that it was an accident, though I had strictly told him just to write Mr. and Mrs. on the cake, I asked him to correct it for the final wedding cake for our wedding, which was in two weeks. He informed me that my fiancé had called him yesterday morning and had asked him to include the Smith on top, along with the previous initials. On the car ride home, my fiancé informed me that he was not comfortable with me keeping my last name, and that he had a conversation with his mother two days prior, in which she informed him that it was feminine and weak and woke for him to comply with my wishes, and that he was signing himself up for an abusive marriage. Talking with the rest of the wedding planning staff, I found out that he also instructed the table centerpieces, official handouts, etc., all to be changed to having Mr. and Mrs. Smith on them instead of our separate last names, with the help of his mother. After our argument, I informed him that I would call off the wedding if he did not comply with my wishes, and that I didn't want his mother attending our wedding ceremony either way. He moved out and refuses to talk to me since. Am I the jerk? Edit, to clarify, I gave him the opportunity to do couples counseling as well as agreeing that we could do joint last names on any future children's birth certificates, along with trying to have a rational conversation with him. The argument started when he called me a woke expletive for my decision, the one that he had previously agreed to. And that's when I told him that it may be in our best interest to call off the wedding and ban his mother. The main reason that I am upset not because of his decision for me to take his last name, but that he had originally told me that he was fine with it and then went behind my back and changed things against my wishes. Update. Yesterday evening, I made the decision to text my fiancé and call off the wedding. I texted him the following message. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that the wedding is off. Please inform your relatives and friends that the only Miss Smith that they will find standing near the aisle will be your mom. I will mail you back the ring to your mother's address, but please do not get in touch with me after this, or this woke expletive will take your sorry butt to court. To which he responded with a long profession of his love, including several I didn't mean it, as well as a it was an accident. I left this message on red and comfortably blocked his number. However, I didn't expect to receive a call from his mother about an hour later who ran her mouth at me over the phone and called me a crazy bee and informed me that she was going to make my life a living nightmare for what I had done to her son. I already made plans to change my lock and install a front porch camera, but should I be doing anything else to protect myself? I'm also receiving nasty messages from my ex's fiance's friends threatening me for my decision. I will plan to donate any and all food to a nearby homeless shelter and I like another user's idea to contact the baker and have the lettering changed to woke expletive instead. I will also contact any of my own friends and family about the cancellation and give them my best explanation as well as canceling the venue, photographer, etc. Thank you all. All right, folks, what do you think? Absolutely not the jerk. And honestly, I think calling off the wedding is the best thing Opie can do. I mean, he went behind her back to manipulate her. Uh, he took his mom's words over his words of his partner. And instead of having an adult conversation and saying, oh, I've changed my mind, to which Opie could either agree or not agree, he just was like, I'm going to change everything without telling her and just force her into this. That is not a healthy way to handle the situation. And, uh, 
especially now how things have gone with his mom and his friends harassing OP. I think that while it's hard right now, probably she has dodged a bullet. Yeah, I mean, I do think that they've dodged a bullet here. And I think that this is one of those situations where it's bad now. Think about how much worse it would be after the wedding. Mm -hmm. It's going to start off with them going, <laughs> you know, full throttle, essentially, and trying to manipulate OP into being a person that they're not is really what it boils down to. Now, I understand OP's stance on wanting to keep their last name. I think mm -hmm. that was a really reasonable stance. And the fact that the mother is saying these kinds of things, I think, is terrible, right? OP yeah. just wanted to keep her last name because she wanted the ability to pass her last name onto her children. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's not any different from a man wanting to pass his last name onto children. Right. And I mean, I have my last name, so I never changed mine because it means a lot to me. And so the way like, but again like people can disagree about this and they can have adult conversations and they may decide this isn't the right relationship for them but to just like do a 180 because his mom says so and like it shows one he's not going to be a good partner if he's just going to take his mom's advice and you know then go ahead and like tear everything down mm -hmm. and yeah it just it's very sad that this is the route he decided to go yeah but again, I think that OP dodged a bullet here mm -hmm. because the, the way he's acting, I just can't see things getting better. No. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. And Amber, she has a joke. Pam, uh-oh, I just swallowed a roll of film. Doctor, don't worry, nothing serious can develop. Yeah, except for, like, poisoning. Yeah. I was wondering, I was like, I'm pretty sure swallowing a roll of film would probably not be very good for you. Yeah, I, I can imagine the doctor, he's like, ha ha, don't worry, nothing can seriously develop, but actually, you're actually in a lot of trouble. We need to go into emergency surgery now. <laughs> and I have Mega Mint. Oh, I never wanted to talk about her new lipstick color. Yeah, um, so I'm testing out some new lipsticks. I think this one is called Own It. It's from Elf Cosmetics, which is where I get most of my makeup. And so, yeah, I just, I like the color. I think it looks good. I think it looks like a nice color. Elf Cosmetics are actually really nice in a lot of respects. Amber has uh, not not sponsored. No. We'll we'll leave a <laughs> we'll leave a link for an Amazon affiliate link for anyone who's actually interested. But uh you know she has always had a lot of luck with elf makeup and how well it's worked for her and they have a lot of good colors they do well and like their previous like creme lipsticks like the really cheap ones i haven't liked as much but this one i've had on all day basically and like it smears a little bit on my straw but my lip color is still really strong so i'm very impressed yeah that's a really good lipstick but let me know what you folks think all right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday, Junior, folks. Happy Friday, Junior. Thanks so much to Amber for joining me today. Thank you for having me. And, folks, we have a live stream tomorrow. Can you believe it? Wow, this week has gone by. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and our guidance. And please, have it on names. A name is a gift to an individual, and it is up to them to decide whether to keep or change it. I think that's a good moral. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!